Rorschach test. You have probably seen an inkling of this test somewhere in a movie or a TV show at some point in your life. And I honestly thought the only way I was gonna take it is if I went to a psychologist, but no, I can actually take it right now. Now, me and you both are learning exactly what it tests right now, since I have not read this yet. The Rorschach test. The Rorschach ink block test is one of the most famous psychological projective tests in the world. Psychologists use the Rorschach to examine the personality characteristics and emotional functioning of the test taker. The test is often employed in detecting underlying thought patterns and differentiating psychotic from non-psychotic dispositions in a person's thinking. The Rorschach is the Rorschach is also used in forensic and custody cases as well as to gauge a person's general degree of adjustment to society. <sighs> My understanding of the Rorschach test is they literally show you a picture and you just say what you see. <sighs> I almost want to call BS. You really think that you could gauge a person's general degree of adjustment to society based on whether they see a butterfly or a bunny rabbit? What do your associations to the Rorschach images predict about you? For each of the following images, select the answer that comes the closest to your association below. Whoa, this actually kind of freaks me out. I wonder if, is the Rorschach, I just Googled, is the Rorschach considered pseudoscience? Some skeptics consider the Rorschach inkblot test to be pseudoscience. Whatever, I'm gonna take it. Let's just see what happens. Oh, it's already creeped me out, bro. It's literally already creeped me out. Uh, before I look at the multiple choice, I want to determine in my head what I see. I kind of see like two grizzly bears. I see two grizzly bears and then two humans about to kiss. It almost looks like two grizzly bears holding hands up at the top and then two faces about to kiss. What is the closest to what you see? Two clowns? I do not see two clowns. A white top? Nothing at all? Okay, shut the f Nothing at all? Suck like my dick. Red and black ink. Okay, literally, yes, I see red and black ink. A bloody spinal column. Shit. Well, when you say it like that, I kind of do see that. A bug someone stepped on. Two elephants. Little faces on the sides. Two Scotty dogs. And a bursting bomb. Jesus. I guess I'll go little faces on the sides. Because I see a face here and I see a face here. It looks like they're about to smooch. So I'll go little faces on the sides. Next one. Which is the closest to what you see in the image? I almost see like two humans dipping their hands in a bowl of water. Like this is someone's legs, this is their body, and then these are their arms going in a bowl of water. Same with this person, parallel. And there's a little butterfly in the middle of them. This, I don't know. I don't know what I see there. I also almost kind of see a tuxedo. Like this could be a bow tie in the middle of a tuxedo and the, and the negative is the shirt and this is like the blazer. A colored butterfly, I do see that. Meat in a butcher shop, two birds, monkeys hanging by their tails. I kind of do see that. Part of my body, two men, a red bow tie. Well, I did verbally say a red bow tie. So let's go with a red bow tie. Ooh. Which is the closest to what you see in the image? I see a little crab over here with a claw, a crab and a claw. This does look like some human bone of some variety. This looks kind of creepy. And then, I don't know. This looks like two caterpillars watering a plant, you know? This is a caterpillar and here's his watering can. I don't fucking know. Teeth and jaws. I almost do see teeth and jaws. Child's painting. Dogs playing. Two people. Insects or spiders. I kind of see two. A garden with flowers. See? The garden. They're watering. I'm going to go insects or spiders. I feel like that's closest to what I see here. Ooh. What do I see here? Dude, this almost looks like Count Dracula to me. Like he's in the middle and he's opening up his fucking wings they've got a bat here i think a bat is closest to what i see jesus man am i like is this like cultic it's kind of weird <sighs> what do i see here i almost see like antlers you know what i mean like i don't know though oh would you look at that deer or elk with antlers beautiful candle spilled paint intestines and stomach I could, I could see how if you had some weird thoughts, how these could pop up as intestines and stomachs. This is, uh, I don't know. Ooh, this is a little butterfly. This is a little insect with some wings. Gotta be. It's a little butterfly. A policeman? What? Black clouds, legs. Something squashed. A bat 
or a butterfly? Ooh, this one is super similar. It almost looks like a fur rug. It almost looks like a fur rug. Head of a snake, a cat's whiskers, a leaf, a splattered mess, a dragonfly butterfly, two king's crowns, an oil spill, a fur rug. Hey, a fur rug right on the money. Ooh, I see, I see animals. This is like, ooh, it kind of looks like a lake. It looks like a painting of a lake, kind of. Like, I don't know. This is the trees and this is the water reflecting on either side. And this is like a wolf or something. Where's a wolf? You gotta have a wolf in here. They do not have a good option for me here. They do not have a good option for me. I'll just go clouds and strange colors, I guess. Hmm, what do I see here? Question nine of 10. What do I see here? I don't know. I don't see anything. I guess I see like clouds. I don't, I couldn't describe this image. I guess a burning mass and smoke is closest to what I said. Whoa. Dude, this is some, this is some, this is some spooky shit, man. What am I looking at? It almost looks like two legs. It almost looks like a giant figure that I'm like standing under looking up at. Like these are his arms and this is his head and these are his feet and I'm standing like I'm this just tiny little human looking up at this fucking monster. A man in a fur coat. Yeah. I guess a big gorilla is closest. It's got to be like, it's got to be gigantic. Yo, this, this is spooky, bruh. I'm healthy and well balanced. That's a good thing. Yikes. Whoa, I would be spooked to be over here. I don't know though, listen, before you go take a test like this and go getting all freaked out, okay, this is pseudoscience, which means it's not real science. It's just, it's just nonsense. Like maybe sometimes it could get it accurate. Although I will say, if in all those images you saw something dead, that's probably, that's probably not the best thing in the world. I'm not gonna be honest with you, but I am not a psychologist, so please do not take my opinion worth a shit. Furthermore, your results indicate they have a negatively tinged emotional life with a greater than average frequency of negative emotion. Wait, what? All right, now you know it's pseudoscience. What is this shit? My results indicate that I am struggling with an excess of stressors in my life, and I have a limited ability to cope with them it could also indicate rigid thought patterns in the presence of obsessive compulsive traits in the personality. And then right the bullet point after that is I exhibit normal healthy thought processes and a good adjustment to society. What? How can these two both be true? Although I'm not gonna lie to you, I have a nightmare every single night. What? Interesting. The Rorschach test, ladies and gentlemen. All right, hey, I love you boys. I thought I'd try something weird today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.